statement uh, from I, the next member for Eastern, FKF, and the next member for Northeastern, uh, Amen Tabat. And here we go. When we had uh, the emergency press conference, we anticipated a discussion on crucial matters such as OBIV and fiasco, the disappearance of COVID funds, the mismanagement of the FIFA for schools boss program, the hosting of Chan in 2024. These are pressing issues that demand attention and transparency. Instead, we were dismayed to witness our organization calling for a presser solely to discuss an individual. Never in the history of this country have we seen such pettiness and mediocrity. We as duly elected members of Football Kenya Federation, representing Eastern and Northeastern regions, unequivocally condemn this diversion, this diversion from pressing issues. The FKF Constitution serves as bedrock of our organization, outlining clear the guidelines and regulations for conduct of meetings, including the AGM. It is abundantly clear that the clubs possess the fundamental right, and I want to repeat this, it is the fundamental right for a club to, to nominate its delegate. In fact, the Secretary General of FKF did write a letter requesting clubs to send the representatives. And if they had the representatives before had, I think they shouldn't have even written to start with. The attempt to disallow Muranga CLFC from sending the vice chairman, Hussein Mohammed, as the representative, flagrantly disregards this constitution provision. Any assertion that Mr. Mohammed's attendance is ineligible is baseless and lacks merit, particularly when it comes to from individuals whose authority does not extend to dictating clubs' choice of the decision. We stand in solidarity with Muranga CLFC and any other club exercising their rights under FKF constitution. It is imperative that we uphold the integrity of organization by respecting its founding principles and ensuring that all members are treated fairly and in accordance with the established rules. We urge all members of Football Federation to uphold the spirit of unity and cooperation as we navigate the crucial discussions and decisions set to take place at upcoming AGM. Let us honor the principles of transparency, inclusivity, and respect for the rule of law, which are paramount to continued progress of and success of our beloved sport. Cowans die many times before their death. End of the last statement. So maybe I would request uh, Amen to say a word. Selling fear has gone. We don't buy fear. We are members of the largest, we are the members of the uh, highest decision making organ in the country for Football Kenya Federation. We will not accept anybody to use FKF as a personal property or to run how you want. We had the last NEC meeting on January and we had sent provocation for AGM for all delegates to attend. President Nick Mwendwa, if he wants to put football into dispute in this country, we will not allow. Kenya is going to host Chan. Kenya is going to host African Cup of Nation. We are going to host the biggest tournament in, the, in Africa, that is African Cup of Nation. We urge the government and requesting the government not to allow such nonsense to happen or anybody's right to be violated. That means if Kenya to be put in dispute, that means we may lose Chan and we may lose AFCON. What is escaping is about uh, finance prudence. We know that he, the provocation is sent to the members. Members are traveling today. They will attend tomorrow to the ADM asking, where is Obi-Wan? Why are you diverting the country into another direction? You don't want accountability. We will not accept that. We will not buy fear. We will be there. And anybody FKF who is a delegate, who has have the authority from the club, to represent, and he has the letter.
they can attend, including Hussein Mohammed. Thank you. So, um, thank you, members of the press. Um, I think it is a sad day for our country that we want to preempt the discussions that are supposed to be provided for in the Constitution. So the Constitution is very clear about what should happen in an AGM. And as members, we want to be in that meeting to discuss the things that are in agenda, on the agenda of the meeting, which are paramount for the interests of this country. As these honorable neck members have said, FKF is not a personal property of anybody. FKF is a national organization. And it is an association that represents Kenyans. So we are not going to allow, as long as we are alive, anybody to interfere with the rights of members, anybody to interfere with the rights of Kenyans. I am branch chairman of Muranga. These gentlemen here um, are NEC members who we elected about four years ago. And they have the right to exercise whatever it is that is granted to them in the Constitution. So let Nick Mwendo, let him know that he doesn't own FKF. It is not his property. FKF is not a private property. And we are not going to allow anybody to take the right of members away. Murangasi, we have insisted, we have our representative. Nobody is going to stop our representative from attending. And it is, it, it, is, it is very sad that a press conference can be called by no other than the, the, the chairman of the, or the president of FDF to discuss an appointment of one member out of 94. It is unheard of. And we are not going to allow it to happen. We are going to be there tomorrow, and we are going to make sure that everybody who is supposed to attend that meeting must attend. Thank you very much.